Well, hello, good morning, welcome back to the channel. We are just pulling out of the yard this morning. Oh, Castleford. As we make our way around and out, let's get that suspension leveled out. So, yeah, we've got a Bradford for nine o'clock this morning. It has just come, I do my head now, it changes that pretty tachograph all the time to a different screen. It's just coming up to past half past seven at the moment this morning. As yes, we make our way out. So Bradford for nine, that's back into Freightliner and Leeds. And then I wouldn't be overly shocked if that is it for the day. Um, yeah, I think that could just be it. Found it we're just really quiet at the minute. We're struggling with the trains coming up from Felixstowe. They've. Um, they're still redoing the tracks or something like that down there so they're um, yeah it's really backlogged so could be quiet for the rest of this week but it should hopefully pick up at some point next week and then we can look at getting um, some good good hours you know some good mileage in again so you know it's, it's out of their control a bit I suppose you know there's, there's no DFS work for us there's no um, boxes coming up on rail. They've, um, it's a real snag, to be fair. So obviously they want us to work. The, the more we do, the more distance we're doing that, the more they can obviously make on the truck and that, can't they? So it's hurting them as well as part to part time. You know, and it's frustrating the drivers a little bit as well, but you know, I've just got to try and keep thinking, you know, it's a job. I'm here for possibly another six weeks. And that'll be looking like it. So, potentially six weeks anyway. We'll have to, um, we'll have to wait and see on that front. There we go, we're out of, out of security. And out onto the road, so... Yeah, it doesn't look that bad a job that we've got this morning in Bradford. I've never been before. It's a terrible junction to get out of this. Especially when you've got a van parked opposite yet. There we go, we're out. So all this truck's done so far is just over rev on the green band all morning. So far. Ah oh, well, be right. It'd be right, wouldn't it? So we've got the 20 footer that we've got on. Then say we're into Freightliner Leeds with that. We've not been in there for a while. I've certainly not been in there for a while. Said I'd have a look to see if there was something in that we could just sort of run. You know, even if it's just up the northeast or something like that, to like Newton Acliffe truck stop or something like that. It's just trying to keep drivers happy a bit, innit? I think we're going to get out after this car, possibly. Oh, the car's turning. There we go, we're out. So yeah, 36 minutes to the job it's got us on. Oh, I'm just gonna have, this truck's just revving like oh this morning. Uh, yeah, 36 minutes to the to the job, it's got us there at 12 minutes past eight. So let's crack on over there and yeah, we'll see what Bradford's like this morning. Yeah, so welcome to good old Bradford. Busy this morning, the roads are very busy this morning. It's the busiest I've seen them for a while. But we're just making our way down the hill. In fact, we need to be over because we need to be turning right in 500 yards. It's a weird hill, is this? Sometimes you fly down it with overrun, and sometimes you put engine brake on one notch and nearly at a standstill. stop anyway and then like that you put the engine brake to free and it does nothing <laughs> it just just sort of goes into neutral a little bit so yeah we're just turning right up here we're 0.5 of a mile away from the job currently got us there at about four minutes time so it's still a bit of an old trek away really and yeah, we turn right here Gotta wait because there's a bus lane that runs down the middle of this road, as you can see. So we've got to hold here 
because yeah there's a bus coming down the hill but we're probably still gonna hold here because they've not gone yet if we pull f yeah if we'd have pulled forward then we'd have blocked all bus off then because they've not let them go they're still not let them go so yet again we're still gonna wait here yep yeah. Lights, <laughs> well, the lights like changing quick here, don't they? Bus is coming now, anyway. As you can see they've still not gone in front of us. A bus is coming through. Come on, lights! Are you gonna let them go? Don't want to let them go, does it? doesn't want to let them go or oh, there is any more for that matter alright so they've changed to green are we going to change to green no so that means we're going to have to that means we'll, they'll go to red we'll get released and then there's a backlog again like there is now it's at a standstill Hmm. It's not a good system really, is it? So they've changed. Are we going to change? Hmm. So they've still got the... Well, they're on red as well. So the bus lights are on red and we're on red. So what do we do? What if we just creep a bit forward if it's going to trick into it? Wonder if there's a sensor on them somewhere. So they're just stuck on red, are they? Three minutes we've been here now. Wow. There we are, just after we've ended the last clip, they changed to green. Miraculously. So, yeah, if we got through them. That was causing chaos for that. Four minutes, they were on red, them lights near enough then, where we couldn't go anywhere. So we go left here where that, where this one was just cut the corner. Then we're going straight right. So that road's closed. Then we're turning right up here. And then left, just past this wagon. If we can make it round. We're round. So it's on the right somewhere here. It's on the right somewhere. go so I don't know where it is in here though that we're looking for MC free logistics up here oof this is a bit yeah I'll take that a bit slow we didn't want that bottom them out there did we so yeah there's no one here at the minute so I'm just going to probably spin this round because I'm not blocking that place behind then because I imagine we'll need to turn around anyway 
I just position in the middle of the yard and I've just seen the snap van as well so I might treat myself to breakfast while we wait so got that loaded this won't go into gear for some reason there we go it's got enough air pressure now yeah we've got this loaded just been doing more 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 emails and phone calls while I've been on my break sorting stuff out it's well while we've been getting loaded it's been watching this front end like that pretty sure that just scraped on there then we have to keep going there's nowhere to stop it's just all parked cars isn't it I don't know if it was suspension creaking oh what we're we we're, we're gonna quickly stop here double check so obviously it's, what it's, what's done is done but you need to make sure that there's obviously no gonna be hanging off that could fall into the road isn't it let's have a quick look let's have a quick look it should be all right i think oh. yeah we're all right we didn't get it it was just um it was just a suspension that we're creaking with obviously weight that we're pushing down on it and leveling out so yeah that was that were lucky because that is steep that is steep especially when you just got a little bit of weight and you don't need much just to push it down that bit more do you just to make contact but never mind we're away and we took it as slow as we could because obviously i didn't want to go too slow because the brakes on this like to jolt they're turning in here they've absolutely blocked me from going anywhere else yep <laughs> yep they absolutely blocked me and then they've not even turned now they're indicating I oh, know they have they've turned last second so they won't come down for me the probably, well, to be fair they probably couldn't fit down for me because we were a bit wide on the road so they've let me go but they didn't stop they just kept coming all right so we're going on to the right here yes so we ain't got a junction so yeah we don't know what we're doing yet we um waiting for something back from them truck still thinks it's 10 mile an hour along here it's a good job it doesn't limit the truck itself in it yeah I imagine if this limited it to what it thought speed limit was sometimes you know sometimes on m1 it thinks it's 20 mile an hour you know it'd be dangerous he's gonna let us go it would have literally be dangerous as well wouldn't it five mile an hour it's saying that oh we didn't make the lights oh it's stressful getting out of here at the minute isn't it <laughs> it's all center triers now but never mind let me go with my planner and see if we can get an idea of what we're doing next and get a vbs booked and we'll go from that yes they have seen my message if i just phoned them now and they've just let him know so they're gonna get 11 o'clock vbs booked for us i haven't muted this so it's gonna ping again there we are muted now so yeah i don't know if we'll get a second job or not it's 20 past 10 at the minute we're gonna get an 11 o'clock vbs we got us there at 10 42 we can get in from 10 45 so yeah, so it just that just shows not every job is just simple. You know, it can be simple in there, but you know, only takes a second, doesn't it, for you potentially think that you've it bottomed out truck on summit when you've not. Yeah, well, I think it, I had wind out. It'd have been more of a crunch if it had been it. I think we'd have dragged it a bit longer than what it was. It was just like a creek rather than a scrape. You know, and then you get a car driver that don't want to let you around, even though there's parked cars opposite, but. 
It's all sent to triers, isn't it? It is all sent to triers. So yeah, it's just some electrical transformers that they've put on this. They only put four of them on. Don't weigh that much, but the truck thinks it weighs a lot because it's revving its nuts off at the minute. It's just it's going nearly to 2,000 RPM, man. Oh well, it is what it is, isn't it? Truck does what it wants to do at end of day. We can't put it in. We can't put it in manual on this to sort of take control to keep it from over revving. It's, it's locked into eco mode, so it obviously thinks it needs that power, doesn't it? To, to be economical so yeah let's get around a freight liner now let's see what we get through to do and yeah we'll see if we get a second one for today or just parked up in the yard so we're in freight liner getting this box off from there we didn't really have any idea what we're doing we can't go anywhere anyway at the minute let, let the lifter get out of the way. The, the lifter stopped there. So we have to let this lifter go in front. <laughs> the chaos, man. If we can't spin round to the right, there's a container on the floor there. So, yeah, we don't know what we're doing yet. We've heard nothing back. we just got the VBS roof a box off. I'm waiting for this lifter to... Um, move <laughs> and then at least we can get out of here where's he going so we're looking at our edge but i don't think we're picking a box up i know we're not picking a box up because it only said heavy lifter on it not not two of them where's he going now we just want to get out of here. There's a doing train now. But he's doing train. So, so it's back at the yard and dumb. 20 to 12. Um, I believe at the minute they're going to grab us a 5 o'clock BBS in the morning over at Trafford Park in Manchester. Um, so we'll be looking probably three o'clock start in the morning. <laughs> so we've gone from we're going to go from four and a half hours today that we've well five hours today technically that we've done. See, it's twenty to now. By the time we book off at twelve o'clock, and yeah, be um, be up at half two in the morning for a early start in the morning. I just cannot get this straight because the lines. We've only got half a line on each side to guide us in. But I know Gary's not in. Gary ain't back tonight, so I might as well just get a bit further over to that side. To the left. So yeah, we don't know what we've got in Cheshire in the morning like. We're going to have to wait and see on that one. Yeah, this will do us. Yeah, we're going to have to just wait and see. Um, still early days. How we're looking at that. That'll do us at this. There we go. Parked up for the day. Oh, look at that first one back as well. So yeah, it's, it's hard not to be a bit negative when it's like this in it, you know. I'm just wanting to immigrate now and get out of here, but we're still having to wait a bit. But you know, we've done out that works so slow at minute. It's just sort of just gone. I don't know where it's all just disappeared to light. It's it is really frustrating, but just got to try and grin and bear it, haven't we? I suppose so. Yeah, I'll just keep this video short today, and yeah, I'll get off, and I'll see you on the next one.